It's a historic day for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Austin Matthews has taken over the team as the 26th captain in franchise history, marking the beginning of a new era for the Buds. And here to take us through what this shakeup entails is our very own Roger Collins. Roger. Nicole, it's been an emotional day for the team and fans. The move is a significant step for Austin Matthews, who's proved himself as leader on the ice. And at the same time, a bittersweet passing of the torch for John DeVars. It was just five years ago that John Tavares took over the Leafs and was tasked with the daunting feat of breaking a 50-year-old curse that the likes of Dion Phaneuf, Matt Sundin, and countless others could not. Lenholm, right wing corner, Pasternak is there! He scores! The Cousins scores! Oh, 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 scores! Empty net, Tyler to Foley. But despite his best efforts, behind the defense, Tavares moves in, shoots, and scores! The curse carried on. However, JT remained steadfast and today demonstrated his leadership. This decision is definitely not about whether I've succeeded or failed, whether I'm capable or that my time has passed. I feel stronger than ever in my ability to compete, play at a high level, and make significant contributions through my leadership. This decision is a recognition of the maturation of a person who has shown a skill set that is special, unique, and who, and who has a relentless drive to win. In that, I believe Austin can become more and that he is ready for this honor and responsibility. In a responsibility, it will be. As they say, uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. And despite being a proven leader on the ice, Matthews, monumental task of breaking a half century dry spell now falls on 26 year old Austin Matthews. Yeah, I'm, I got chills, honestly. I'm, uh, I'm so honored um, and humbled uh, since being drafted here eight years ago. You, you realize how special it is to, to play for the city of Toronto, to, to wear the maple leaf on your chest every single night. And it just means the world um, to do that and to have the support from, from Johnny, um, my teammates, our staff, ownership. Uh, my family. Um, it just means the world to me and I look forward to continuing our journey to obviously get to the top of the mountain and win the Stanley Cup and bring it back to Toronto. But it isn't just this changing of the guard that marks a new chapter. The team has a new head coach too. Craig Berube, picked up in May, guided the St. Louis Blues to its first Stanley Cup win in its 51 years of franchise history. But when asked about the path ahead for the Leafs... It's a process to get to the top of the mountain. Um, I'm not going to comment on getting to the top of the mountain. You know, it's a process from training camp on. and um, Austin's going to learn on the way too, you know. And, he has learned a lot from John Tavares, obviously, and, and other leaders in this organization that uh, they've had. And, um, you know, he just needs to be himself and go and play a game, play the game. As for now, fans are taking the time to enjoy the moment and celebrate Austin. In the meantime, Matthews has little over a month to step into the role before the preseason starts. In that time, the team will also have to sit down and get to know, know their new coach and figure out what they're going to do differently this year in order to break into the deeper rounds of the playoffs.